Hi everyone, so today's video is a return to gouache. I've been wanting to combine watercolours and gouache in one piece for a while now, as I think the mediums look really great together. I've also been playing with my new dip pen too. One of the main reasons I wanted to start using one of these is because I wanted to be able to layer ink drawings or patterns over my paintings, and so I gave this a go in today's piece. I think the oddest part of using these pens is even when on a relatively smooth surface you can feel the scratch of the nib on the paper. I was most aware of this when I was using it over the paint too. Maybe I'm a little oversensitive but I think that kind of is a bit distracting when you're using it. I think it just made me feel unsure if I was damaging the nib too. Hopefully with more practice I'll get my head around it. I decided to paint a crow today because there's a crow living on the rooftop of the house opposite my studio since I've moved in and he's always catching my eye because I'm really easily distracted. He fights with the seagulls around here too so I'm completely on his side and he's just a massive bugger, I mean almost as large as my cat and to be honest I just love crows in general, they're really smart and I just like it when an animal seems to have a personality, like it has a soul. I'm gonna be controversial here but that's one of the reasons I prefer cats to dogs. I've met a few Labradors and Spaniels in my life and each one was really alike to the others. I think breeds of dogs just seem to have very similar personalities and that's nice in its own way, you do know what you're getting. But a ginger cat isn't like other ginger cats, neither are your black cats or your tortoise shells. They don't really act specific to a breed and you don't really know what you're gonna get. And not just in general, also on a day-to-day -day basis too. I think I like a personality, I guess. Even if that also means they have a lot more negative traits. I kind of feel like if you like dogs, you like younger children, like toddlers, or just people who are really plainly spoken and they don't mince the words or leave you guessing at all. And they just want to mostly focus on, let's just have a good time and I love you. And it's just a really devoted relationship. But if you like cats, you probably prefer older people or really teenagers especially. You like people who are more opinionated and maybe a bit of a mardy arse. They just, <laughs> they like you but they ain't gonna say it. You know, jerks, you just like jerks. <laughs> and I'm not really sure where I'm going with this now. Um, I guess what I'm saying is, I think crows are like cats in that way. They have their own lives and unlike a dog that will love you unequivocally, a cat and a crow, it has to choose you <laughs> like a Pokemon. <laughs> Crows only really care about you if you benefit them in some way, because they actually think and act independently of you. You can just see something that's going on behind their eyes, I guess. And that's why I find them more interesting. My crow, as I am going to call it, likes to roll stuff that it picks up down the roof and just go chase it. And honestly, it just seems to be having fun, like it's entertaining itself. And I just find that really interesting to watch. So I wanted to paint it. With the sun being so bright here at the moment, its feathers keep catching the light when it flies past my window, so I wanted to add some reflected light onto the feathers, and I thought layering the paint over a watercolour, like wash, would create this effect well. I kind of changed my mind early on, you might notice. I was starting to get all detailed on each of the feathers, and I just wasn't feeling it when I just looked at it as a whole piece, so I just painted it over with more broad brush strokes, and I was a lot happier with this effect. And that's a great thing about gouache. Water can reactivate it and let you bring all those colours back up so you can just start painting again. Which is especially nice when it comes to traditional art like this. One of the things that I find really hard and something I felt at the moment when I was painting these feathers and I wasn't happy with them was, okay, let's just throw this out and start again. And back when I was younger, that was constantly my attitude, especially when it came to drawing. One line goes wrong, start again or I just scribble over that drawing, get onto the next one, and just over and over. And it's good in some ways because you're getting a lot of practice in, but I wasn't practicing something that I do think is very important in art now, which is dealing and fixing a mistake that you've made. I think it takes a lot of confidence in yourself and your ability to do that. Not only because you're saying, oh, I can fix this, but also if you can't fix it, you're saying, well, that's all right too. You're still happy to take the time to see what you can learn from that experience. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I like this mix of mediums especially, and I think I'll continue to try and mix this watercolour gouache paint and then ink over the top. Just this type of style in the future. 
And that's really all I wanted to say this week. I feel like I should have a better sign off than that. <laughs> it's actually my birthday the day after this video is coming out. Good old Friday the 13th. And my partner's taken a week off work, which will be our first proper time off since moving down here. Not really got any specific plans yet, but we're hoping to explore some more. So yeah, I'm going to take the week off too and enjoy that time. I'll be back two weeks from now with another art video, but for now I just want to wish you all a good week. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you again soon.